Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and the Choir Master Organist at Plymouth Congregational Church here in Minneapolis. Each day I'm taking a composer's music to talk about and each composer is someone who has been involved both with Vocal Essence and with Plymouth Church. Today, Dave Brubeck. It was uh, in the 19, well, let's see, it was in the 1970s, early in the days of vocal lessons, that I brought Dave with his quartet to Minneapolis to do a concert. He's written a number of choral pieces, though of course most people don't know him for that. They just know him for his quartet stuff. But he wrote a piece called The Light in the Wilderness, <clears throat> a wonderful cantata that is for chorus, soloists, and the jazz quartet, and symphony orchestra. I invited the Greater Twin Cities Youth Symphony to be the orchestra for that piece. Dave was thrilled to have a chance to work with young high school students. And one of the things I realized is that when it comes to improvisation, most people think they don't really understand how improvisation works, so they assume that the composer, the performer has worked it all out and then just shown up and pretending it's a surprise. So because of that, I, at the concert, said, Dave, I'm gonna ask you to do an improv. Oh, that's fine, sure, sure. And I thought, I'm gonna suggest to him a hymn that I know he doesn't know. And so I played holy, holy. He said, oh, that's a really nice tune. I never heard that. I said, go for it. And he sat down at the piano and did an improv that dazzled everyone. And I said afterward, now we're going to do his Light in the Wilderness. And there will be improvs there. And they will be things that are brand new, because that's the nature of what jazz often is. Dave uh, was born in 1920 passed away in 2012. He went to the College of the Pacific planning to major in zoology, went into his classroom, and after just a couple of days, the professor said, excuse me, would you please leave here, go across the hall into music, that's where you belong. And so he did. In 1942, he was drafted he went into the army and created one of the first racially integrated bands in the army. In 1951, he founded the Dave Brubeck Quartet. So this wonderful man who was a generous, kind, dear soul, composed a lot of music for choir. And the piece I'm gonna play for you is just part, it's for choir, it's of a piece called La Fiesta de la Posada, which uh, was his Christmas piece. He grew up in California and he loved Mexican music and the whole thing that went around with the instruments there. So this piece in its original form, the way we've done it with Dave, involves uh, our jazz quartet and uh, a Mexican group of instrumentalists. This is one of the movements from that piece. It's called Behold the Holy One. And of course, one of the things Dave loved was to switch rhythms around so that it wasn't just in a straight 4-4 four, four all the time. So this piece is all in seven. So you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three.
was with us on several occasions. In the 1980s, we were at O'Shaughnessy Auditorium, and he wanted to perform a piece of his, again for orchestra, singers, uh, and jazz quartet, called To Hope, which was a, a time in which he was looking at texts that had kind of an eternal feeling and would go back even to the Gregorian chant idea that had been very prevalent in music in the Middle Ages. So we did this piece, and then he came again, but the last time I saw him was, I think at that time, well, he was about 90, and he did a concert at the Dakota Jazz Club here in Minneapolis. It was amazing to see this 90-year-old man, a little unsteady on his feet, walk to the piano and sit down. The unsteadiness was over. When he started playing, it was like he was 20 years old, and it was amazing, thrilling, and heartwarming. He wrote a lot of piano pieces, and the one I'm going to play for you is a, his humorous, in a way, piece called Two Churches. And one church, it says, very strict. And then the other church, it says, swing. Have a great day.